Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be doing a whole bunch of fruit platters. So hopefully you'll find one that you like. Anyway, we're going to jump right in with a honeydew uh, kind of centerpiece, if you will. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cut the bottom off. So it's up nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of V cuts. And when I see a V cut, it's just because it looks like the letter V. And when you get to this point, you'll see that you're here and here. So start right in the middle, go down and Hopefully it should, should come apart. No, it's stuck someplace. If you get stuck, you just keep going through all your cuts and making sure that you went through everywhere. There it goes. Now what we're gonna do, we get a spoon, scoop, scoop out the seeds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do inverted V's on every petal. Okay, so they're not inverted V's, they're actually regular V's. Oops, <laughs> my, my, my uh, cameraman just pointed that out to me. That, um, yeah, it's a regular V, it's not an inverted V. Oops. Once you've done all your regular V's, we're going to peel the, like just a very, very thin part of the skin and you're going to go around and do all your petals, just like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to push this out so that it holds the petal like that. You do have to make sure that you've cut all the way down and that you made that V, um, it's gone all the way. Because otherwise it won't, uh, you won't be able to lift your petal. Like this one's giving me a little bit of a problem. And that is because I didn't uh, go all the way down and my cut. And so now you have a nice little uh, flower basket for a, for a centerpiece. And now we're going to just take a couple of mixed berries in there. Some, uh, maybe some berries. Take a couple grapes. Take a couple raspberries, a couple blackberries. We'll just mix them all up so they're nice and colorful. And that will be our centerpiece for this fruit platter. So now we're gonna cut a watermelon in half. We're gonna cut this in half now. And this we are going to cut at a little bit of an angle. You want to do your best to try to cut all your slices as even as you can get them. We're going to take this, and this is going to come on the outside. We'll start at the top by your centerpiece and come down right to the middle. Now it's very important. So last one I was, I started on the right side and went this way. This one I want to come along here this way. So I got to start on the opposite side. Very important that you start on the opposite side. Of course I'm righty, so kind of hard to cut, but all right, we can do this. I'll just pick this off the up. Can you use your knife for that? Don't go like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to slice an orange. Get rid of the ends. Do one more. Let's go with the orange slices. Just go along the watermelon. When you put your orange slices down, you want to try to make sure that they're evenly spaced. The more evenly spaced they are, the neater your uh, platter will look. So we're going to cut the top off our pineapple. 
and always if very often if you're making multiple platters save these because you, you can use this as a centerpiece too i'll show you how to do that later so bottom part off when you're cutting go right underneath you'll, you'll notice that there's these things i call them eyes try to cut right below them they really don't taste very good Clean your board off, and after your board is nice and clean, cut the pineapple in half. We are going to do an in, or actually a regular V this time, not an inverted V, to take out the core. You go just below the core on both sides. And we're gonna slice a little bit less than a quarter inch thick. I'm going to take half of it and I'm going to go this way, which will go on this side. Then this, I'm going to go this way, because that's going to go on the opposite side. Now we're going to just fill them with some, we're supposed to use some strawberries down at the bottom, like so. And let's put some grapes. Then in the middle, do some red grapes. Some green grapes, a couple more red grapes. A couple more green grapes. Let's do one other thing, because I don't actually like the just the plain orange. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a kiwi, we're gonna peel it. Just go slice this pretty thin. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in between. Maybe I'm going to eat one more kiwi. So I got my other kiwi peeled. And now we're going to So the next fruit platter is great for people that don't have great knife skills. And it's really good for either a Valentine's Day or an engagement party. Uh, and for somebody who likes berries, very, very simple. If you have a nice round platter over here, we are basically going to do a heart out of raspberries. What I would suggest is just actually do the outline first and then adjust it as needed. Like adjust the shape of it as needed. So once you have the heart, we're gonna take some raspberries and just fill it in with raspberries. Very simple. That's pretty good. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to do a circle of strawberries on the outside. They're close to the outside. Next, we're going to take some blueberries and we're going to fill in. As you can see, there's very, very little cutting with this. We're going to cut some kiwi at the end. But besides for that, very, very simplistic. And you can see that it's literally taken me maybe five minutes to make this platter. Mm -hmm. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to take some kiwi slices and we're going to put it around the outside. Get a little bit of green color. And we'll take some blackberries. We'll put the, the blackberry on every other kiwi. Boom. Fruit platter's finished. So the next platter is also a platter where very, very little cutting, but looks very attractive, very easy to do, maybe like a literally a five to seven minute platter. So we're gonna jump right in. Uh, we're gonna start off with some strawberries. If you wanna cut them in half, you can, uh, or you can leave them whole if they're relatively the same size. We're just gonna go on the outs outskirts of the platter, outside the platter. Like so. Next thing, we're going to take some orange slices. Just going to go around. That's good. Next, we're going to do some pineapple. We're going to get to here. Just lift this up and go underneath. Like so. Now I'm using just red grapes. You can use mixed berries. You can use red and green grapes. Actually, let's do that. Let's do red and green grapes as opposed to just red. So we'll throw that in with some grapes. Like so. Let's throw some kiwi in here for some green color. You can either go underneath the pineapple like I'm doing or you can go underneath the orange. Hopefully it'll stay up. And behave, please. Yeah, I talk to my food. Doesn't want to behave. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll go the other way. More pieces of kiwi. Like so. And we need some type of centerpiece. So what we're gonna do is bah, 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 bah. I'm just uh, no orange is gonna be way too big for that. So let's go with kiwi. Uh, we're gonna do, do a series of V cuts. around there. You, you could use raspberries, blackberries, anything you like for here. And voila, a really beautiful fruit platter. Uh, if you want to pick it up a notch, you can take some blackberries. And what I call, getting a little bit black in there is what I call shack value, meaning it kind of contrasts with everything else. If you don't have blackberries, you could do blueberries, you could do raspberries. You can alternate raspberries and blueberries, really anything you like. The beautiful thing about this platter is literally it takes less than 10 minutes. And what do you think? Looks right. All right, so if you remember before I had cut this pineapple top off, uh, just cut, the top, cut it off. Uh, if you look at it, there's one or two leaves that don't look good, like if you look over here. So I'm just gonna pull that out. That's not too bad. So that's gonna go on top. Very, very simple. And now we're gonna take some pineapple, cut it the same way I did before. And we're gonna go Two strawberries and a piece of pineapple. Another two strawberries and a piece of pineapple. Then we're just gonna go all the way around. Really the beautiful part about this is, besides for the pineapple, um, 
there's a couple things they got to cut. We're going to put some kiwi on here too, I think. Um, but it's really actually very, very simple. So I'm going to use a bigger strawberry here. And just so you know, the strawberries hold the pineapple from falling. So if the pineapple is not cut thick enough, don't worry about it. That's what the strawberries are for. That's good. And as I'm looking at this, there's not a whole lot of space. So what I'm going to do, sometimes I use a pineapple hole. Uh, this platter is actually too small for what I want to do. So I'm going to show you how to take this. Uh, this also looks very, very pretty. Now it'll actually give me a little bit more space on the platter. Just another way of using that pineapple top. We'll put the pineapple on later. We're going to take some kiwi and go around. Put some kiwi around. Anyway, if you notice, I'm using a lot of the same fruits over and over. All these platters are very, very quick. They're very simple to do and look great. You know, people will think they slay for hours. Really, really simple. I'm gonna take one more kiwi and slice it up. So this one in total will have maybe three kiwis on it. Next, we're going to take some grapes. We'll take some red grapes as well. Put pineapple top go. Put our pineapple over here. We'll do the same thing that we did for the last platter, except for we're going to do it with an orange. Probably use a paring knife or a smaller knife for this. You don't want to cut yourself. And as we did with the last platter, we can either go with blackberries all around. Actually, let's go, let's try raspberries and blueberries. We'll see how that looks. We'll introduce some other colors. Some raspberries. And let's see, how's that look? So we have empty spaces here and here. So I'm just gonna throw some strawberries there to fill that in. I don't like the empty spaces on my platter. And that's actually pretty good. Voila, 